Welcome everybody to Total Fine. My name is Adriana. In this episode, we are going to talk about some common mistakes that Spanish speakers make. A report on the Cuenca culture, a funny sketch about our progress learning English, and some unusual information of a popular movie. Enjoy this show! Hi everybody! My name is Sofia and I'm going to talk about some English words that can confuse people. Because they are so similar, it can be difficult to know which word is the right one to use. These words can be kind of tricky. I'm going to talk about look, see and watch. These three words are very similar, but we use them in different situations. The first word is look. Look can be an exclamation in a sentence. We use it with the preposition at, to look at that. This means that we direct our eyes to the object and then we pay attention to it. For example, we do not say look the dog because dog is an object and an object needs to be followed by at. The correct way is look at the dog, it's so cute. The second word is see. This verb is irregular. See means to notice someone or something by using your eyes. For example, we do not say, I look at your keys, because there was no intention to look at them. The correct way is, I see your keys, they are on the table. The final word is watch. It's very similar to look. However, the way we use it is slightly different. To watch means we notice, we look at something for a longer period of time. For example, normally the object is moving or changing. We do not say I look at the TV because it will be just a brief glance, a quick look. The correct way is I watch TV. Now Santiago, tell me about your common mistakes. Okay, the mistakes I'm going to talk you about are commonly heard by students every day in class. These mistakes mark us as not quite as advanced in English as we may think we are. Common mistake number one. I often hear students every day in class asking each other if they want to go outside and eat together. This is an example. Incorrect. Did you like to eat something with us today? And the correct way is, would you like to eat something with us today? Common mistake number two. Another common error is the prepositions. Incorrect. I would prefer to study by my own rather than study with others. And the correct way to say this is, I will prefer to study by my own rather than study with others. These little prepositions in, on, at, by, and for are the last thing to master in English. Your favorite worst English school is back. More dysfunctional than ever. With the craziest teacher. Welcome to the Gringle Feliz Center, where learning English is not an option. <laughs> Hello, children. Good morning, teacher. Welcome to the first day of class. Thank you, teacher. Um, quién sabe los vocales? Me, 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 me. Uh, you. Yes. Uh, a, I, E, O, and U. Uh, you mixed up the E and the I. No, teacher. Uh -huh. No. Yes. Mm. And Angelina. You. Me. No, the man walking the dog out on the street. Of course I'm talking to you. It's like... Um, A, E, 
I O U. Uh, good job, Mickey. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Tamina, what are you doing? Nothing, Are you sure? Yes. Give me the toy. Give me the toy. Give me the toy! Dominica, thank you. Oh, muy fea. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what. If you don't play with the toy, you can have it back. See? Yes? Okay, ciao. going to be a long year. Okay guys. Okay guys. Okay. Now don't forget that your projects are due tomorrow. And do not forget to bring typical dishes. What do we have to do? Oh my god, seriously? I already told you to bring the bananas because I'm going to bring the whipped cream. I told you yesterday. Are you kidding me? No. I, I didn't it's do tomorrow. anything. No. Yes, I did. Lord, I have to bring the no, chocolate ice cream. Please don't forget it. I'm going to have to uh, step out of the class for a few minutes. Teacher, don't forget to check the homework. Thank you, Terry. Terry, that is why... Terry, that is why you are my favorite student. Thank you, teacher. You guys are okay, too. So I have to step out of the classroom for a few minutes. Continue doing something, okay? Do not go on your cell phones, okay? And I am Adriana. We are going to talk about Cuenca culture. Cuenca was designed as a cultural patrimony of humanity and recognized for the cultural wealth. And so is a unique combination of the modernity and colloquial terms. It has a mutual museums, archaeological sites, beliefs and customs. It also has a wide variety of cross activities such as the ethnicity, ceramics, banquetry, sardelli, and among others. The best known dishes are the preparation of peeled mote, raw meat cheese, and pickled chili peppers. And the best desserts are fig candy and apple pudding. Wow, it's so interesting. Do you know that the Chola Cuencana is a traditional Cuencan woman? The typical Cuenca custom is made up of a white skirt known as a pollera that reaches the knees. The skirts are usually strong colors like red and purple. They also wear a white blouse and a straw hat. Cuenca night is a celebration that takes place any day of the year on different occasions. This is a colorful celebration that reflects many features of the Cuenca culture. Hi everybody, I am Terry and I'm Domenica and we are going to talk about the Titanic movie. We all know the wonderful story of the Titanic for being one of the most tragic historical events. Titanic was the largest and most run ship built in the 20th century. It sank in the icy waters of the North Atlantic after of colliding with icebergs while trying of maintaining a speed record to New York City. With more than 2,200 people on board, more than half died of hypothermia or because they drowned. 
but not only would remember the Titanic, but also the brave musicians who stayed until the end and many other features of this. Love lessons between Rose, who belonged to a very affluent family, and Jack, who was a nobody. Rose decided that after the ship reaches to New York City, she will abandon her family and run away with Jack. But crazy a try when the ship collided with an iceberg, and the water started filling the ship. After a few hours, the ship sank. But the two lovers holding on to each other, saving Rose's life, Jack sacrifices his own. Rose never goes back to her family and she lives her life on her own terms. That was very interesting. Thank you Thank very, you very much. much. We hope you like our show. Don't forget to like our video. I am Drian. Until the next time, be total fine.